Okay, there you come. This is your video for today. Do you get along? Remember, get along is nakoyoku suru. Actually, uh, in the dictionary, get along is nakoyoku. But uh, actually, naka, uh, get along means you can be together and no problem. You don't fight. You get along. Okay. Remember, the difference between very and so is if you use so, you usually have to give it an accent. For example, you can say, I'm very hungry. No problem. I'm very hungry. I'm very hungry. Or I'm very hungry. But with so, you have to say, so hungry. I'm so hungry. I'm so tired. Okay. Uh, he's been to many foreign countries. He's been, what, what was your mistake? Not anything? He's been to many foreign countries. He lives over the store. He hangs out in the bat in the back. What were we talking about? I don't remember. Anyway, that's itakoda, right? Usually you think go, went, gone, but with itakoda, we say he's been to many foreign countries. He lives over the store. He hangs out in the bank. Uh, to hang out is kind of like buddha buddha suru, just relaxing, doing nothing, maybe talking. Um, now. Another thing that we learned yesterday was that there are three sentences for new information. When possible, try to use the I sentence or the human being in the first word of the sentence. I or he or she. My is okay too. For example, my nose hurts, my stomach hurts. But if possible, try to say I nani nani. Okay, first person, I. Number two sentence for new information is their sentence. Nani nani arimas or arimasen. There are no. There is no. There were no. There was no. So there is, there is not, or there is no. Anyway, okay. Um, often we use this for information that the listener cannot see. Aite ga mienai, joho, right? For example, in my neighborhood, there's an old man that lives in front of my house. Okay. It sentence is uncontrollable information. Anything you can, cannot control, the weather, the day, the time, the, uh, the light. It's light outside. It's sunny today. It's September 26. It's um, summer. It's hot. It's light. It's, it's 5.30 p.m. All of those sentences are it. Okay, then we learned some body idioms. Remember that? Um, I need some help. Could you give me a hand? Tetsatakurero, could you give me a hand? Something is different about you. Did you change your hair? No? Hmm, did you, um, did you dye your hair? No? Did you change your makeup? No. Oh, I don't know what's different. I can't put my finger on it, but something's different. Okay. Be careful. The police said he is armed. Armed means he has a weapon. The police said he is armed. If you make a stupid mistake, someone might say, hey, use your head. Atama tsukai. Same thing, right? I didn't mean to tell her. Kuchi ga subeta. It was a slip of the tongue. Slip of the tongue. Don't tell anybody about this, okay? Keep your mouth Shut. Keep your mouth shut. We also talked about the sureba yokata and shinakereba yokata. For example, I should have. Uh, I should have called. I should have come early. I should have done my homework. I should have studied more. Or I shouldn't have. Shinakereba yokata. I shouldn't have dyed my hair. I shouldn't have um, stayed up late last night. I'm sleepy today. Okay. Next page. Um, shitemo ii is usually, we usually say allowed. For example, we aren't allowed to dye our hair. Our school doesn't allow us to dye our hair. You can also use the word supposed to. When you use suppose, it's more like kitai shiteru, kitai sareteru. We aren't supposed to dye our hair. Hmm. I'm supposed to be at school at 9 a.m. All right. We aren't allowed to have cell phones, but I sneak my cell phone 
to school. Sneak is kossori. Okay, that's your lesson. Thank you very much. I will see you next week. Same time. Bye-bye.